So I, I'm not I'm not too you know formidable when it comes to politics. I'm not too knowledgeable when it comes to politics and things of that nature. But these two party systems, it's, it's not for our people. Like it's not for Israel anyway. And what what the Democrats and the Republicans? So it's more than just no, because their agenda is to bring forth a new world order. And that new world order is, you know, the so one world currency. Why do they have two parties? For, for chaos and confusion. They just want to play on the minds of the people. That's literally all it is. Yeah, they, there's no difference between the Democrat and Republican. I know it seems like it, but there's no difference. You know? And that's the spirit, too, that she asked it, because you got a lot of people out here still confused that, well, that the Democrats are right and, or the Republicans are right. All of this two-party governmental system, it's all man-made. It's all vain. It's all vain. It's all vain. It's just con uh, control chaos to keep the people divided. This is the book, all right, going back to uh, the terror that's about to be rolled out all right, on the wicked of you people. Let me get this in the book of Jeremiah. And, and once again, starting with the wicked of our people, man. Are right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? All right? Let me get this in the book of Jeremiah, Yeremiah. Chapter 15, verse 1. Jeremiah 15 and 1. It says, Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward his people. Yeah, because Moses and Samuel, they were righteous men. All right, the Lord sent up Moses and Samuel to lead the children of Israel in the time of Exodus out of the Egyptian captivity. It says, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward his people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Yeah. In, 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 in the time that Moses was what? Bringing down the other uh, commandments, all right, that the Heavenly Father had gave him. You go, uh, uh, Moses went down and saw, you know, the Israelites worshiping a damn golden calf, man. All right? Going into that spiritual idolatry, you know, which, which is one of our biggest and main offenses toward the Heavenly Father. Idolatry, all right, which is the worship of, of uh, uh, other gods, man. We already have a God. We already have a power. Okay, once again, Shema, Yasharala, Yahweh, Allah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Akhai. All right. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. It says, And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Where the shall we go forth? And also, also, when the children of Israel was being led into the land of Canaan, all right, the land of milk and honey. All right, well, we would uh, uh, claim it. All right, you had a lot of Israelites, you know, uh, uh, backbiting on Moses and Samuel, man. Okay? And so what? The Lord destroyed them. All right, the scripture say what? Him that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses, man. So the Lord heard the wicked of our people, you know, backbiting on uh, Samuel. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, Moses and Samuel. And what? The Lord destroyed them. All right? And the same thing is going to happen again. All right? Jeremiah 15 and 2, it says, And this shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Okay? So the Lord got death. All right, the Lord has a certain death with your name on it, man. If you're, if you're wicked and disobedient, Okay. The Lord has a judgment. Right, the Lord got a bullet with your name on it, so to speak. <laughs> All right. And it's not going to miss, man. All right. If you don't die in these times right now, the Lord is probably going to take you out of Jacob's shovel. All right. If you don't get taken out of Jacob's shovel, you're more than likely going to be taken out in thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay. With this being the catalyst. All right, the M-A-R-K, the Karagma, which is coming very soon, all right? That's why Esau Edom is what? Conditioning you people to, to take these jabs, all right? He's conditioning you people to take these jabs to get you ready for this device right here, all right? And if you take this, and there is no accident, all right? 
There is no taking this by accident. There is going to be no, oh, I didn't know, and none of that, man. If you take this with or without your knowledge, the Lord is going to destroy you. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right? The Lord is terrible like that. So keep playing around, man. All right? Keep thinking it's a game. Keep thinking it's a joke and thinking it's funny, man. Okay? The world is about to suffer thermonuclear destruction, man. All right? ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right? This is coming to America in the very near future. All right? It could be a few months right uh, from now. It could be a few years right now. But the prophecies got to come to pass. All right? We can't give you an exact date of time. Because the scriptures say what? The day of the Lord cometh as a thief, uh, a thief in the night, right? So we can only tell you that it's coming soon, and that's it. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 3. It says, And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth, to devour and destroy. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Once again, all of these animal attacks, all right? These people getting uh, uh, grabbed up by zoo animals, uh, by, by wild animals like, like cougars, uh, mountain lions, okay, and bears, and raccoons, etc., etc. Alligators and crocodiles, you know? Here it is, you got, you got uh, uh, France going through a bed bug in, uh, uh, infestation. Okay. You got mosquitoes out here in uh, New York State that can kill you with, with, with um, a deadly toxin. It's, it's a lot going on right now, man. Pl hey, plagues, plagues are in abundance right now, man. Or they be, they're becoming in abundance. You know? But what? All of these things was created for the wicked. All of these things was created for the sake of destroying the wicked, man. And I said it, er I mentioned it earlier, but you got a flood going on in Brooklyn, New York right now, man. Okay? The Lord is cursing America. All right, just like he was cursing, just like he's cursing California with those wildfires, man. Which, those didn't happen naturally. All right? Those didn't happen naturally. All right, those was caused, man, by yours truly, your damn government. All right, Jeremiah fifteen and three it says, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay. All right, that sword, that word sword represents destruction. Okay, and the sword could be anything, man. It could be a little, a literal physical sword. It could be a gun. Okay. It could be whatever, man. All right? Anything that's, that's used to uh, kill, man. Can I ask a question? What's up? You say uh, plagues. Yeah. How about COVID? Are those plagues? Uh, uh, absolutely. 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 Yeah, but that's a plague. That's a plague in itself. And, and, and even though it's man-made, the, uh, they, they, they're using it. The Lord is going to use that, that, you know, that virus to start killing all people, which, which it has been doing. You know, all of that stuff is, is man-made. A lot of these plagues that's been coming out, or whatever the case, has been man-made. You know, your government, <laughs> your American government, they, they do these things behind closed doors and then they blame, you know, these other nations like China's and, and so on and so forth, which some of them do it too, because you got these bad scientists. Okay. But all of these things were just orchestrated and created to poison the people because what they're doing, according to these books, like the unseen hand and the new world order, all right, they're, they're moving into this agenda of uh, 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 depopulization. You know, they have a depopul uh, depopulation agenda going on. Wow. You know? but because they, they want to control the people more. They want to control the people better. They want us to be, you know, like, uh, you know, like cattle on a farm. Well, I, I think they're going to have us there. I, so think, what? I think they're going to get us there. Mm -hmm. Yep, they, they just want to try, they just try to control us so that they, yeah, they try I, to... I, I, think they, I think they're going to have us there. The New World Order, it's not going to be accomplished in its entirety. They're going to start it. They are going to start it, but it's not going to be totally accomplished. You know, that's says the scripture, because the real New World Order is going to happen when who the world called Jesus Christ comes back. You know, that's going to be the, new, the, the, the real New World Order. But they're going to, like the elites, the globalist elites, the Illuminati, they're going to start putting their, their things into motion, like the depopulation agenda, the viruses, and the, uh, the implant. 
and things of that nature, they're putting it into motion right now and stuff like that. But the whole thing is not going to come to pass. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Some of, some of it will, but the whole thing in its entirety, it's not going to come to pass. You know? But that was a good point. That was a good point. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 4. It says, And I will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. What well, I was really the point on that. All right, the Lord, the Lord is, set, is setting up uh, a death for you, for you vain and you wicked individuals, man. All right? Those of you who want to continue to indulge, all right, in modern life, you know? It's lucky. All right, the, the Lord, once again, he's, he's making judgment, man. He's making judgment for the wicked. All right, let me um let me get this real quick. In the book of Ecclesiastic, it's called Sarah. Chapter 39. And I got this last week, but I'll read it again just for the sake of, of, of edification, man. Just for the sake of elaboration. All right? Sirach chapter 39, verse 24. It says, As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. For the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. Okay, you see that? So the Lord has a plan, all right? He's orchestrating everything, man. All right, he has the good things. For the, for he has the good, the living things. Uh, he has the good things for the for the uh, for the righteous, for the living, okay. And he has what the the, the 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 things to punish for the wicked, okay. It says, verse twenty six, Sirach, Sirach thirty nine and twenty six, the principal things for the whole use of man's life. All right, so for the common everyday man, are water, fire, iron and salt. Flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. All right, so there you go, man. All of these things are created. All right, all of these things are essential for a man's life, man. All right? So we use all of these things to, to, to what? To, to go about our everyday lives, our everyday lives, man, to survive. All right? Verse 27, it says, all these things are for good to the godly. All right, all these things are for good to the godly. That's plain. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. All right, and the scripture is about to elaborate on that. Verse 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay, the scriptures say there are spirits that be created for vengeance, man. All right, this is why you're seeing, you know, movies and, and a, a series about your, Jeff, uh, your Jeffrey Dahmers, okay, your Cropsies, okay, your, um, your uh, 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 Ted Bundys, and all these other, you know, psychopathic serial killers and things of that nature, man, all right? These spirits are out here, and these are spirits that have been, been uh, raised up for vengeance, man, all right? These people that go around murdering other people, okay? These spirits that go uh, that go around uh, ravishing young children, man, and women. These spirits are created solely for the sake of vengeance. They are created for pure evil. Okay? As the scripture said in Jeremiah the 15th chapter, what the teeth of wild beasts, animals attacking you, all of that is for vengeance, man. You get set on fire. As a matter of fact, speaking of getting set on fire, all right? Because fire is essential right, for use in, in a common, average, everyday man's life, right? But speaking of fire, let me get this real quick. It says, is spontaneous human combustion real? All right, and this is on history.com. 
And this article was actually just up, was upgraded fairly recently on August 9th this year, 2023. It says for several centuries, people have debated whether human beings can spontaneously combust or burst into flames without being ignited by an external source, which, which is the natural cause of somebody being set on fire, right? It says, though the first known accounts of spontaneous human combustion, or SHC, date all the way back to 1641, the phenomenon gained wider exposure in the 19th century after popular author Charles Dickens used it to kill off one of the characters in his novel, Bleak House. When critics accused Dickens of legitimizing something that didn't exist, he pointed to research showing 30 historical, historical cases. Okay, so at the time of Charles Dickens, of Bleak House, all right, there have been 30 reports of spontaneous human combustion, all right? And as the title of this lesson is, consider a grim reality, man, because this, these are real events that have been recorded in history of spontaneous human combustion, all right? It says, more recently, cases of SHC have been suspected when police and fire department officials have found burned corpses. Listen up. It says, when police and fire department officials have found burned corpses with unscathed furniture around them. All right, doesn't that sound familiar? Don't that sound like uh, uh, the Mosul talking to Moses through the burning bush? The bush didn't actually get burned, okay? But it, it had the appearance of burning, man, okay? So, so what, it, was, it, was a, it was a divine fire, man. It says, for instance, an Irish coroner ruled that spontaneous combustion caused the 2010 death of 76-year-old Michael Faherty, whose badly burned body was discovered near a fireplace in a room with virtually no fire damage. Okay, so so can you explain that? How was this man set on fire? He was saying by the fireplace, but there was virtually no fire damage. Man, there was there was almost no fire damage. Okay? So this man, his, 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 his body just set on fire, all right? That's the Lord's doing, man, okay? Fire can be a spirit of vengeance too. It's good for the godly, okay? But it's punishment for the wicked, you know? And as a matter of fact, they put in your TV shows, your, 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 your animes, for those of you who watch anime, okay? You got this, you got this anime called Fire Force, and they talk about spontaneous human combustion. All right. Now they put it off, you know, as a joke, as, as something uh, for entertainment, okay? But spontaneous human combustion, that's an actual thing, man. The elders talked about it years ago. You know, when you watch that video, Understanding Spirits and Demons. All right, that series right there. All right? So what, fire is a spirit for vengeance too? No, it can be. Okay? It says, um, because the human body is composed mostly of water, and its only highly flammable properties are fat tissue and methane gas, the possibility of SHC being an actual phenomenon seems remote. Yeah, far off, like, like this is unbelievable. That's how you know it's a spiritual thing, all right? That's how fire can be used as what in, advers uh, in adversity to our adversaries, man, all right? It says, many scientists dismiss the theory argue because they can't explain it. That's why they dismiss it. And that's the thing about Esau and so-called white men, these red devils. All right, they fear what they don't understand. All right? They dismiss what they can't understand. Spontaneous human combustion. No, this isn't a real thing. This is this is a, 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 a this is peculiar. This is far-fetched. This isn't real. This is asinine. That's how these damn devils talk, man. This is asinine. This doesn't make any sense. There's no evidence to prove spontaneous human combustion. Hey, the proof is in the scriptures, man. The proof is in the Mosad, okay? It says many scientists dismiss the theory, arguing that an undetected flame source, such as a match or a cigarette, is the real culprit in suspected cases. Typically, deceased victims are found close to a fire source, and evidence suggests that many of them accidentally set themselves on fire while smoking or trying to light a flame, which 
that's what they try to use to conclude these cases, but that's not the actual, but that's not what actually happened. Okay? But that was the point on that. All right? Spontaneous human combustion, uh, combustion is the actual thing, though. Okay? But going back to the scripture, Sirach chapter 39, verse 29, it says fire. There goes fire again. It says fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Okay, so there you go, man. Okay, teeth of wild beasts, scorpions, serpents, the sword, everything, man. All right, everything in this life that, that was created to just be, all right, or that was created for the godly, there's going to be an adversity to our advers uh, adversaries, man. Okay? Also, and that's just plain. Also, in big green things, they look like grasshoppers, but I don't think they're they grasshoppers. Big green, big green things? Yeah, they come, they come through with the plague to eat up everything. Locusts. Yeah, locusts. Locusts. Yeah, that, oh, that's the spirit. Because, because, because that's what happened to Egypt. Ancient Egypt and the scriptures, that's what happened to ancient Egypt. The Lord sent a swarm of locusts. I, I'm actually going into that in, um, in a little bit. The things of the nation. But that's what happened to ancient Egypt. And it's about to happen all over again. I, I think it was some, actually somewhere in Europe, I want to say maybe a couple months, like a few months to a year back, they actually had... I think it was Europe. They actually had a swarm of locusts come through and start eating crops around Europe. So it's the same thing. The same thing that happened back then is going to happen again, but it's going to be a lot worse now because this is going to be the last time that the world is going to be, you know, overrun with wickedness. You know, so a lot of those things that happened in Egypt is going to happen again on a greater scale. All right. It says the Sharat 39 and 31. It says they shall rejoice in his commandment. Yeah, these things are gonna, these things are gonna, uh, it's gonna uh, have fun pleasing the Most High, man. All right, they're gonna appease the wrath of the Most High. It says, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Okay, so they're gonna do exactly what they were supposed to do, what they was uh, created to do for the wicked. All right. Jumping over, all right, to Sirach the 40th chapter. It says, the, uh, uh, Sirach chapter 40, verse 9. It says, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. See, there goes the flood again, man. All right, there goes the flood again. Okay? All of these things which was created are right, for the wicked. Tribulation, famine, are right, starving to death. Okay. You ever seen a hungry lion, man? I mean, I, I personally haven't, you know. But I know they exist. Alright. When you see when you see a hungry, starving animal, man. Alright? That's why you got these cases of what? Jaguars? and lepers that go around on people's uh, uh, porches and, and homes and what they, they they take their little dogs all right an animal just like a human can get crazy all right when they're hungry man they get desperate when you're hungry you get desperate all right you'll eat anything when you're hungry all right and that's exactly what's about to happen to a lot of our people they're going to get desperate man because they're going to be in want of food you know there's going to be a scarcity of food out here. It's already enough that we're in genetically modified organisms, okay? But what, there's going to be a, 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 a more of a scarcity of food, right? All right? We in lab-grown meats. We in 3D printed foods. All right, that's being sold to the markets. All right? And then what? They're telling us in the news that, that some of these animals that they've been, you know, butchering, all right, is, is going to be infected, you know, with that jab, right? Okay, so they so what they just like they've been doing. All right, they're gonna be selling us poison, poison foods, man, poison meats. All right, which goes back to the scriptures. The scriptures say Israel should eat uh, defiled bread among the Gentiles, man. 
Then shall they eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. The scriptures talk about this. The scriptures said it would happen. The scriptures did say it was going to happen. All right? And it's not just the meats, but it's the grains too. Okay, because because oats, like the Quaker oats, like oatmeal, is one of the most toxic grains you could you could actually ever eat, man. All right, because what do they do? They they spray it with those pesticides, man. Like like Roundup. Okay, they spray they overly they, they spray the crops with the pesticides to you know keep the insects away. All right, and then what? They take that the, the pesticide riddled food and put it in the markets, man. So now we're just consuming more and more poisons, man. And over time, what happened? Men started to become uh, more and more infertile. All right, our sperm started to become more and more sterile. We started to get sicker. Women started to become more, uh, started to become more and more infertile. And they started becoming sicker. And then they gave you a women birth control. Goodness grief. All right? Consider a grim reality, man. And I'm going to keep saying it. I don't know, man. Okay? The poison of the food, all of these things, all of these things was, was set up, okay, to what? To take the wicked out, man. All right? Poison in the food, the water, the air supply. All right? The statue of man is weaker now than it ever was before, man. All right? If you're 20 or 30 something years old, a man who's uh, 50, 60 years old, okay, your father's father probably has more testosterone than you, man. Okay, because what? Years ago, all right, a few years ago, what? We, we had more single ingredient foods, man. Okay? But now everything is complex and lab grown, and that's not normal, that's not natural. Okay? That's not natural. We're supposed to be eating single ingredient foods, man. All right? And they always tell you when you watch these, these nutritional and these diet and these health videos, if you can't pronounce it, if, if it's on, the, if it's on your, your ingredient box and you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it. Which makes perfect sense. All right, man. All right, man. Hey, Lord's willing, you know? That's what I'm out here for. All right? If you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it. All right? The sperm count is, in men is getting lower, all right? Women are becoming less and less fertile. Come on, man. There's too much going on in this life to not consider, you know, uh, talking to the Lord and seeing how you can get salvation. All right? I was the point on that. Well, let me go ahead and get this. All right, since you're speaking a while about wild beasts and our uh, spirits created for vengeance, let me get this in the book. Of Wisdom of Solomon. And once again, man, this, this is all prophecy, man. Right? This is all prophecy. These are all things that the Lord... This is this is a uh, 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 appointing to happen. All right, the Lord has an appointed time for everything under the sun. Okay, let me get this in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter eleven, verse seventeen. It says, "For Thy Almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions." Or unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. All right, look at that, man. Okay? The scriptures say what? The world of matter without form wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. Now that word wanted means to cease. So the Lord cease not means 
okay, to send out, all right, upon the wicked a multitude of fierce bears and lions, man. All right, which, which those are two gravely dangerous animals, man. All right, what do they say? If it's black, fight back, and if it's brown, lay down. Okay, these animals are worthy to be feared, man. All right, and then Jake, because <laughs> Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, for the most part, we know better, man. Jake is terrified of animals, man. Sometimes Jake be scared of his own pit bull, you know, but we love him as pets. Okay, but Jake, for the most part, is scared of a bear or a lion or, or a jaguar. Jake don't really mess with animals and insects because, for the most part, we know better. It's you heathen, man, you so-called whites, or you so-called East Indians, and especially the rest of you heathens, man, because y'all be having sex with what, monitor lizards and shit, man. All right? There was a story that came out about, came out about that, you know, a, a year and some change back. You know, some East Indians that, that had, you know, uh, game banged a damn monitor lizard, a protected monitor lizard. Hey, you heathens are sick, man. A lot of you heathens are sick. You know? So-called white people having sex with, you, with the damn family dogs. You heathens are sick, man. Real twisted in the head. All right, and the scriptures speak against bestiality, man. 